Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sai. Thank you so much for being here today. Today, I'm going to be creating this look right here and also these big, beautiful curls that will last you all night long. And also, I have a discount code for you guys. You can get 30% off their whole entire website. I will also list all the products down below so you guys can go ahead and check their products out. I really, really loved how this look turned out. And also, I quickly wanted wanted to mention that this video is sponsored by Numi so shout out to them for sponsoring this video today and be willing to work with me so if you guys want to learn how I did this look and also these big beautiful curls then please continue watching so obviously first is first I'm going to be doing my brows so I'm just brushing my hairs and I did add the DHC soap that I always always use I do have a little bit of like hair right here my eyebrows grow so much it's crazy because i don't have bushy eyebrows which trust me i wish i did like that is my dream to have bushy eyebrows but i don't i have a lot of hair but no brows like like my freaking luck you know and then also by the way fun fact about me that you guys probably never know or maybe i did mention it but i don't remember telling you guys but um i don't just shave my legs uh i don't grow hair on my legs at all and i'm actually blessed but not really because I don't have hairs on my brows like it's so weird like estoy pelona de aquí pero no de mi cabeza de mis pies ya yeah. and like I also don't have a lot of like arm hair yeah my mom doesn't have hairs also she doesn't have hairs on her legs just like me so I think I got that from her and I've never shaved like or waxed my legs like ever all right so now I'm gonna set my eyelids with the Laura Mercier translucent powder I'm gonna go ahead and start doing my eyes. For my transition color, I'm gonna take my Sassy Sienna's palette. I'm only gonna use one shade in this palette, which is which is a foxy right here in the center. And all I'm gonna do is just run this all on my crease for a transition color. So when you guys go on a date, what do you guys prefer? to do do you guys like going um to the movies or to go out and eat or um like somewhere like more fun like more adventurous anyways uh for today's look i am going to be using this bobby brown palette this is the infrared eyeshadow palette which looks like this and i really really like this palette there's only one shade that came in broken in the mail which is this one right here i tried so hard to put it together but really really good right now but for today's outer crease we're going to be taking this shade right here in the palette which is behind the sun and i'm going to be taking this shade right on the outer crease just to deepen up the look and we are gonna go with a brown and just you guys will see how hopefully it will turn out really nice and pretty but yeah um, me and Nalo like to go to dinner um we like to try new things also i don't know about this time because he did say to just dress up nice because he's gonna take me out to eat but i don't know where we're going so i hope that i'm not too dressed up you know because my birthday's like in four days my birthday is actually in three days but i didn't tell you guys that lalo is getting surgery um 
on the 18th so a day before my birthday he's getting surgery he can't we can't go anywhere after obviously because he's gonna be recovering but i hope everything goes well um he is pretty nervous about it he is going to get a very big surgery i don't want to say what it is because he probably won't be comfortable i mean saying it here on camera maybe like later on i'll tell you guys what's it about but right now i feel like he's very very sensitive about it and when he was younger he did break his nose so he had to go get surgery this is actually his second surgery you guys surgery procedure so yeah i'm gonna be taking this shade right here which is slow burn and i'm gonna darken up my outer v with this shade so now that we have that good to go i'll probably darken it up a little bit more but like once i'm done with everything else um but now i'm just going to go in with the lid shade i'm going to take this bh cosmetics brush and for today's eyelid color i'm actually going to be using this shade right here in the palette which it's a really really pretty shade it's called fever dream is it yeah i think it's called fever dream it's so confusing when it's the back of the palette i prefer like names under the shadow but anyways, I'm just going to be applying this shade right here. Oh my god, look how pretty this is. Wow. So we're pretty much good to go with the eyeshadow, you guys. Like, it was so easy. All right, so now I'm just going to prep my skin for foundation. Um, for today's primer, same old, same old things. I have the NARS primer, and then I have the NYX Do Me Up. These have just been my go-tos. <gasps> I have shit on my eyes. You barely see it. And then I really like the YSL uh, Blur Primer because it really blurs out like the pores that I have right here. So I like just taking it right there. So now I'm going to be taking a little bit of the NARS. <sighs> Applying this on my nose because ugh, I have such an oily nose. Story of my life. So we're good to go with that center of the face i'm gonna go in with my honey do me up primer so now i'm gonna go ahead and start to blend it in with this flat brush from sigma this is the foundation f60 brush So now I'm just going to take my Glam Glow Glow Setter and I actually got a new bottle because I was already running out of them. This is so good, especially when my skin just feels very dry and just looks very dull. I love how this just instantly brightens and also makes my skin a little bit more dewy. So I really, really like that about the Glam Glow Glow Setter amazing all right and now i'm going to be taking my skin de nivea the makeup primer spray now only i'm only going to add this on the center of my face so it's right there like i said i do get oily and that just balances my oils and all that so i don't get oily that much all right so i'm going to let that dry a little bit more and meanwhile i'm just going to do my foundation cocktail um, and lately I've been loving my Beauty Blender Bounce Liquid Foundation, this one right here. And I never told you guys my shade. My shade is 3.70 and it's amazing, you guys. And I mix it a little bit with the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation. You guys know that this is my go-to. Like I raved about it so many times throughout this year. Like you guys already know. Now I'm just going to go in with this flat brush, which is the large shader brush, um, E60. And all I'm going to do is mix both of these. Like, they are so alike on in shapes too. I was so shook because I literally went in Sephora 
got the shade that I thought was the best match and left with it. Like I got really, really lucky. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the foundation. You guys, if y'all don't have this sponge, like get it now. This is the um, Juno Coast Co. Juno Co. But it's amazing, you guys. It's so freaking good like oh, i love how it just spreads my foundation it's so easy to use like look at that I just posted a new video and you guys are showing so much love. It just sucks that I'm not replying back. All right, so today's video, I am so, so excited because I'm going to be using the new Fenty Beauty Concealers. And they are these right here. They're new. I haven't even seen them. But I did get four at Sephora. Here, I got 185, 235, 255, and 280. So excited. I'm, I've heard amazing reviews about it so i cannot wait again these are the pro filter instant retouch concealers first impression it looks just like her foundation um bottle so i'm gonna open three shades right here that i think are good to conceal for my um skin tone i think i'm going to be concealing with 255 which is this color right here looks a little bit more darker yeah it looks a little darker so here it goes I love the one too. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna have to like I could conceal with the shade. It's already doing both. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and start to blend. Look closer. Ooh, it looks good from the camera. Oh my goodness. If you guys only saw how like smooth my under eyes look. Wow. It's not cakey at whatsoever. It blends so beautifully. It blends so freaking flawless. Oh my god, I'm so I'm obsessed. But I'm gonna be taking 235 to kind of highlight. Um right on my right on my nose right here and then cupid's now chin and obviously the forehead wow the applicator is also very awesome applying the concealer very very well so i really love love the applicator so now i'm gonna go back again And you guys, this is a magnifier. You can really, really see every little detail. All right, so when I saw the price also, I was like, it's a little too much, you know, um, for concealer. But I can see why. I mean, concealers for me should be not higher than like 20, 25, you know? I mean, these are 20, what, 27, I think? 27 or 28? Like plus tax you know so like almost 30 bucks almost like a foundation so i was a little shook about the pricing but it's totally fine because i see that it's worth it it's such a good concealer now i'm just gonna go ahead and uh contour with my fenty beauty matchstick and i'm just going to run this through here right there right there under my lip jawline and then i'm gonna go ahead and blend it out with this it cosmetics heavenly deluxe brush i literally cannot live without this brush like look how dense it is and it's angled perfect to blend out your cream contour and also if i'm a little too mia like on my social medias and all that that's why because my boyfriend's getting surgery so i'm sorry if i'll be a little bit mia now i'm going to blend out my nose and right here and i have been loving this rush to blend out my nose contour which is the uh, huda beauty face conceal and blend it has two sides right here i don't use the side but i should start using it 
but I like using this side to blend like look how easy and effortlessly that blended I blend my forehead because you see that line right there I want it to be like seamless so I'm gonna go in with my Huda Beauty um, banana bread easy bake loose powder all I'm gonna do is set it set my under eye with this powder All right, so now that we have kind of that like setting, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Makeup Shack uh, T30 brush and um, all I'm gonna do is kind of like set everything. With the Beauty Blender, I like to just go back again and just pressing the powder in if I, there's still like any access. Now I'm just going to bronze up. You guys know I love a bronzing. I'm going to be bronzing up with this with this NARS um, a bronzer. And I like taking this uh, Jaclyn Hill, Morphe Times Jaclyn Hill, a JH02 brush. And I like taking, like really, really packing the brush. Now I'm going to be taking a different brush also from the Morphe and Jacqueline um, collab. I'm going to be taking my MAC Darkest Deepest Bronzer. All right, so I already applied my blush. I applied my Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic Blush. This is a Swish and Pop Blusher. So on this side, I'm just going to bake right underneath. All right, so now I'm gonna be taking my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. All right, so now I'm gonna do my lashes. First, I'm going to just apply some mascara. In today's eyelashes, I'm actually gonna be wearing the Lila Lashes in Hollywood. You guys know these are my favorite lashes. So I'm, I'm gonna let my lashes get a little tacky because I did just apply glue on them. I'm just gonna go ahead and prep my lower lash line. I'm going to do the same thing that I did to my top to the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and start to highlight. I'm going to be taking my same old, same old Mirame highlight. Then I just run it through. Done with that, I'm going to go ahead and take my Marc Jacobs Omega Glaze Highlight in the shade Guilty. Alright guys, so now um, that we're done, I'm going to go ahead and spray some setting spray. This is the Fix It, Forget It Lancome Setting Spray. All right, guys, so now for my hair, um, I did blow dry it. I'm going to blow dry a little bit more because I feel like it's a little damp right here. It's always that area. Today's video, I'm going to be using the Numi Signature Hair Dryer, which is this one right here. It's so, so cute. It's pink. I love the color.
All right, so now that we're done doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and start curling my hair. For today's hair tools, I'm gonna be using Numi today. I am so excited to be partnering up with them in this video. Like, I've been using their products for so, so long, ever since probably like when they came out. Like, you guys know that I love curling my hair. I have a lot of hair that I feel like Numi is the perfect hair tools to curl my hair. And my curls last so, so long. That's why I'm doing this video to show you guys how to get long lasting curls. So yeah, I'm really excited. And this is how the set looks like. This is actually their Lustrum set. So I'm super excited to be using it today. So this set is five in one. So, so this one is the 25 millimeter cone. I love, love curling my hair with these wands right here. So here we have the Pearl Barrel, which I absolutely love. I've tried this before and it really, really curls my hair like so, so, so tight. And then when I brush it through, it looks so beautiful and like mermaid curls, which I love. We also have the 25 millimeter wand, which is this one right here. And then the 19 millimeter wand. And of course the big size, which is the 32 millimeter, which is this one right here and it also comes with the protective glove which is always always handy because sometimes I'm not gonna use it today but because I have nails but sometimes when I didn't have nails I would literally burn my fingertips so badly all right so I'm gonna be curling my hair with the 25 millimeter this is actually like my go-to like I always use this all right so now I'm just gonna lock it really quick I normally wait like I usually have to wait like 20 minutes for my wands to heat up but this one it literally just instantly heats up super super quick like in five minutes which I'm super super happy about so what I'm gonna do right now is pretty much section off my hair I usually do this all the time whenever I curl my hair I like to just put it up this because I have a lot my hair is so so long I have to do this because or else like I will miss hairs but what I'm gonna do is just brush it now I'm just gonna brush it down with this new me brush right here wrap it around the barrel like this And then I usually wait like 20 seconds, um, but literally like heats up super fast. Like right now I'm waiting, I'm waiting way too long, but like 10 seconds. I'm not even joking. Like, look at this. Look how pretty those curls look. All right. So I usually don't pin it up. I know a lot of people do, but I don't like to pin it up because sometimes it just creates like too tight of a curl. I like like wavy effortless curls. So... What I love about the Numi wand is that it's super, super easy to use. It's also very travel friendly. So like you guys saw, there, it was in a set. So you can literally travel with it without it being super, super heavy or anything like that. Like you have everything in just one. So I really love that about it too. It's literally, it curls in seconds. And what I also like about it is that it gets rid of any fuzz you have um in your hair and then and i also like how it adds shine and it adds volume to my hair when i curl it with the lustrum from the set and i have really long hair so i like how it wraps around so well I also want to mention that this is high quality component that makes it safe for your hair and also it makes it safe for colored hair. Um, I don't have colored hair but I do have highlights so it's very very safe when it comes to that. It won't damage your hair um, if your hair is colored or dyed. So it's going to be super easy for girls that have thick hair. And I also want to mention that I do have a discount code for you guys. It's Sara E, but I will have it down on my description box so you guys can go ahead and, and visit the website. You guys can get 30% off at checkout if you guys want to purchase the Lustrum set. So I'm done curling my hair. I'm going to show you guys the back really, really quick because it looks so pretty. So 
So now I'm just going to be brushing it through. Look at that. Looks so pretty. I love it. Obsessed, you guys. Like, like my hair is so voluminous already. I didn't even have to put on hairspray or anything. Like, look at that. I didn't even tease it or anything. I literally brushed it through and it looks so voluminous and so beautiful. And I don't have extensions on, you guys. And these curls are literally going to last you all night, all day. All right, so now I'm going to be taking the Hair Hairfi Ready Finishing Spray, which is this one right here. I'm going to shake it. Then I'm just going to... Ooh, look at that. I need a too. Looks... Oh my god, my hair looks so big right now. That's All right, you guys, so that's pretty much it for this makeup tutorial and also hair tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me video. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also, don't forget to press the notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload new videos and new content. So you guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Bye guys!